afternoon, Sam Houston. Thank you for joining us. This is Diego Guzman. And I'm Flint Thompson. This afternoon, a local student organization has been preparing for the movie Elf, a holiday special, whilst abiding by COVID-19 rules. Hello, this is Matthew Wallace reporting live from KSHSU. Today, I'm reporting about our event that is happening right behind me. What's happening right behind me is they are showing the movie Elf. And as you can see on this side, there, this is where the screen is going to be. And on this side, that is where all the students and all the people that come and see the, pro the movie will be right over here. By those cars over there, there's some food and amenities for the guests as well. This is being put on on campus right outside the university hotel, right in the heart of it. And afterwards, I will be talking with faculty and people who helped organize this event just to see what it looks like from the inside looking out. And I'm here with Celeste and she's going to talk about this event for us. Hi, my name is Celeste Rodriguez and this event going on is brought to you by Program Council here at San Houston State. It's called PC Cinema and this is the drive-in version. So basically cars come up, they drive in, we give them free snacks, free drinks, all that good stuff and we show them a movie. This event is going to be Elf and we're hoping for a big outcome. Interesting. What made y'all decide on the movie Elf? It was just a unanimous vote against our board. Have y'all done this type of event like this year as well? This is our second time doing this event and we're just trying to find events that are COVID friendly and also entertaining for the students. Interesting, interesting. How was the, the turnout last time y'all did this? Uh, it was pretty well. Fortunately and unfortunately we had to turn some students away. Um, so yeah, it was a big outcome. That's good to hear. I'm, I'm glad to see that the campus is taking safety measures for this type of stuff. So with that being said, I thank you for your Again, time. I'm here with Nick, a volunteer for this PC Cinema event. I have a question. How did you get involved with volunteering for this type of stuff? I got involved with this organization from their post on Instagram. Interesting, interesting. How would you rate your experience so far as volunteering for this? I would say 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed the company here and especially working with everyone. That seemed like a hard, uh, group of workers. Interesting, interesting. Uh, would you recommend like volunteering for students if they're looking for something to do or like beef up their resume? Yes, I would definitely uh, recommend this job. You know, it helps you learn how to plan events, how to learn how to budget, teaches you really important things in life. Interesting, interesting. Is this something that you uh, you do regularly or is this like your first time volunteering for this type of stuff? I actually do this regularly. I really enjoy working with everyone. Uh, like I said earlier, they're a bunch of hard workers and I, I enjoy it. Awesome. Do you continue to keep doing this stuff as in volunteering further on in your college career? Yes, I do. Definitely. Uh, especially this is my last semester, so I want to get as much as I can out of it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Nick, we thank you for your time. This is JT, a sophomore here at Sam Houston State, here to just check out the PC Cinema event. Now, JT, why are you here tonight? Um, you know, I just think it's really cool how um, they're doing this event, um, especially with everything. And also, it's so cool how, you know, they're making sure everyone's safe. There's free food, a um, bunch of cool stuff. So, um, also, who doesn't love a good Christmas movie? Interesting, interesting. How has your semester looked as far as, like, interactions? I know they're trying to be COVID-friendly. How's that looked in, in your semester? I mean, really, there's not a whole lot of people on campus. Um, so, just to see an event like this, uh, this is definitely a big change. Um, because haven't really seen um, as much as of a crowd as you would usually see on campus. How would you rate your college experience in, in the COVID year compared to the other years where COVID was not a thing? Oh, so much worse. I'm not gonna lie. But um, you know, the campus has been continuing to uh, you know just try um, and do the best that we can under like the circumstances with COVID-19 and everything. But um, so they have been doing a really great job in just keeping us you know, entertained with events like this. So it's been really cool to see this semester. Interesting, interesting. Uh, do you come to these type of events often? Like, are you pretty involved with the campus? Um, I do. Um, I am actually, I uh, hang out a lot at the BSM um, and other places as well. So it's um, it's been really cool to see uh, different communities around that are still heavily active on campus. Have you seen the movie Elf before? I have. It's really, really funny, really funny movie. Are you a Will Ferrell fan? Uh, maybe not so much, um, but Elf is definitely um, one of one of my favorite Christmas movies for sure. Interesting, 
Well, JT, I thank you for our time. I'm here with Hunter Poole, a sophomore here at Sam Houston State University. And I got a couple questions for you, Hunter. Why are you here tonight? Oh, you know, I heard that this um, organization was playing the movie Elf, and I just love that movie. So um, I'll take any chance I can to see it. And um, especially with all the COVID safety precautions, um, I'm really glad that they're making sure everyone's safe and still willing to put on a good time with the movie Elf. Awesome. Awesome. So why do you like the movie Elf? Well, you know, I'm a big Will Ferrell guy. I love I love all his movies, especially Elf. And I also love Christmas. So combining Christmas and Will Ferrell, you got a good time. So again, I'll take any chance I can to see it. I love that movie. Awesome. Awesome. Now I got a couple questions about the whole COVID situation going on in your sophomore year. Uh, how has the whole COVID outbreak, all this stuff, made you feel? Well, um... Wearing these masks is not always the most pleasant thing for me, but um, you know, I'm not gonna whine about it. You know, I'm still gonna um, stomach through it. I'll, I'll go through all the precautions, but um, you know, I'd obviously rather see lots of people on campus because it is pretty empty now. But, um, and online classes, they're, they're not always the best either. So, um, but there are pros and cons to that, like pros I can, relax at home when I can but con I don't see lots of people anymore so it has its benefits and consequences interesting interesting how would you compare this semester as a COVID semester compared to your freshman year without COVID oh it's very different um like everywhere you go you see like X's and checks on all the seats so it's very weird seeing everyone spaced out and and in the rec too they only allow like 30 student and uh, 30 people in at a time to use the weight room so that's very different again there's pros and cons of that like a benefit was that it's not overcrowded but um a consequence is that um sometimes i have to wait outside so again that's that's also very different mainly for the rec because um sometimes you do have to wait outside but it's all right would you say that this covid semester has kind of hurt or, or ruined your your social life a little bit or has it at least affected it um it's definitely affected it a good bit because um everyone has their own opinions about it so not everyone is comfortable hanging out um in big social gatherings but um i would say for the most part it's not affected it too much but um it's definitely put a damper on it a little bit how would you say the school is handling this COVID situation with all the classes and, and all these events? Do you think they're doing a good job? Oh, um, I'd say I'd say they're doing a good job. Um, the, I think it's the health director, Dr. Drew Miller. He sends out uh, weekly um, COVID updates, which I think is very beneficial. That way, like, staying on top of how um, how the campus is um, is like up to date with COVID um, and all these events there obviously taking um, lots of safety precautions for it. So I'd say they're doing a good job and they're still gonna have numbers in it, but um, they're doing the best they can with what they got. Well, that's encouraging to hear. Would you suggest the campus do more of these type of COVID friendly events as you say? Um, I, would, I would suggest they do because um, uh, I feel like now they need to take every opportunity they can to keep the students engaged with um, uh, like, it with each other and um they just need to like um like uh try and get everyone as social as they can while being as covid friendly as they can keeping everyone socially distanced but still able to have a good time like this do you feel like it would be hard to make friends say if you were a freshman or a transfer here in events like this where you have to be in a car and can't really see other people do you think that would like have a damper on your college experience it does make it more difficult because um like you like you said i'm a sophomore and um last year was definitely like a better freshman like experience versus now like i i feel very i feel very bad for the freshmen now because um they're not getting the full college experience that um they've worked hard for that they've worked hard for all their life so um it def it definitely um affects in that way and like they're not getting as much as they can out of it what would you say to anyone pondering coming to these events would you encourage it i would i would definitely encourage it because it's very evident that they're still trying to um 
be very COVID friendly with like social distancing, like keeping them in their cars, really trying to enforce the face masks. So um, they're doing everything they possibly can to um, uh, like make sure that they're complying with school policy. And um, like obviously if you're not comfortable, like you shouldn't go, you shouldn't like go out of your comfort in that way if you feel like you would be highly affected by COVID. But um, if you're on the fence, I would, but leaning more towards going, I would definitely say you should go. How do you think this will affect the future as far as next semester or the semester at and semester after that and how we handle like public events and stuff like this? Um, I'll definitely say like uh, you can um, uh, like if if this is this semester is definitely a trial run. So um, if, if things go wrong, then you can definitely learn from it. But um, I think we can just hope for the best that um, this will be kind of be taken care of before we have to go into then like the next ne the next fall because obviously it's gonna keep going on in the spring but um they they can definitely learn from this semester going into the next one interesting well hunter i thank you for your time and i hope you enjoy the rest of your night this is matthew wallace i thank you for tuning in and we will send it back to the studio eat them up cats wow that's exciting now i want to go watch it well, the next time that they're hosting it, we can definitely stop by and grab a ticket. And now, to the weather. Thanks, Flynn Diego. Like they said, there's a lot of crazy weather this weekend. As we're looking very cloudy for the next couple days, we have 23% chance of precipitation right now at noon. But tomorrow at 1, we're looking at a 73% chance of precipitation and a 23% chance of thunderstorms. That's not looking very good for you if you're traveling. Do be safe. If you're going northbound, you're probably going to catch a little bit of light showers, a little bit of rain. But if you're going south, you should be fine. I-45 should be clear, sunshine all the way down. Um, as you know, 2020, pretty unpredictable. We've had three separate hurricanes in the Gulf coming from Cuba to Louisiana and parts of te Southeast Texas. Like I said, just be careful, drive safe, and it's all distance. Thank you all and back to you at the station. Thank you, Maxwell, for that wonderful information. And also thank all the viewers for tuning in to KSHSU Studios. Don't forget to wash your hands, wear a mask, social distance, and above all, have a wonderful evening, Sam Houston. Hey, buckaroo. How Hello, this is Matthew Wallace live from KSHU. <laughs> Hello, this is Matthew Wallace reporting live from K A. Ah, shoot. Trash cans for these students so that they can be in a safe environment. Cutting there, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Hi, I'm Matthew Wallace. Uh, thank you for listening and tuning in. Uh, tonight we are. Uh, stupid, I kind of got off. Okay, never mind. Hello, this is Matthew live again from our PC Cinema event. Today I have a freshman named JT here to talk about it a little. Right, so, just right there, I'm a sophomore, so you better watch yourself right now. <laughs> Start it over. <laughs> this is Matthew. Oh, never mind. Hello, this is Matthew, and I'm here with Frangis McBaskin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today we're going to be covering... What you covering? Our pecs. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I forgot to say good afternoon, Sam Houston. Good afternoon, Sam Houston. Thank you for joining us. This is 
Theo Busman. And I'm Flynn Thompson. This afternoon, there's been this local student organization that has been preparing for the movie Elf while making it a screen time. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Sam Houston. Why'd you look at me? I was looking Good afternoon, Sam Houston. Thank you for joining us. This is Diego Guzman. And I'm Flynn Thompson. This afternoon, a local student, student organization has been preparing for a screen time of ELF, the holiday special, whilst abiding by COVID-19 rules. That's the best one yet. Good job. Thank you for joining us. This is here with uh... Maxwell Anderson. You know, I work with you. We're in the same room. I do my news special right behind the desk. What, what's wrong with you? You've been here for months. They need to lower your pay. I'm sorry, guys. I, I shouldn't have ran like that. Anyway, my name is Maxwell Anderson. I'm the local weatherman in the area. Was. Was? What are you? Sorry. I pay you! Get out of my office! <laughs> Good afternoon, Sam Houston. Thank you for joining us. This is Dale Guzman. And I'm Flint Thompson. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is good. good. How you? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Good afternoon, Sam Diego. Like they were saying, the weather's been kind of crazy here lately. Here alone, we've had three separate hurricanes in the Gulf, all of them coming up from the south of Cuba, up right in here, heart of Texas, Louisiana. They got hit very hard. 